All right, guys, today I got a pretty exciting match to show, which is the WRC VEX VRC High School Competition Finals from China. This is one of the more competitive competitions in China and is a best out of three. And the reason I'm showing this match is because on the blue lines here, we have two basketballs, these two hoarding robots with, with two hordes. They have, a, they have a top one and a bottom basket, right? And and they're actually, actually able to win this, this high-level event here. In China, which is pretty crazy, because you know, for for a good part of the the uh, the whole season here, we've been talking about how how baskets are no longer in the meta anymore. But but as the season go went on, it seems like it seems like they they might be back in the meta, right? And the the reason for that is because of the, how many blocks they can clear out of the opponents, right? Not giving the opponents any 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 blocks to play with, and if you control all the blocks, then that really gives you a, a huge advantage in. Uh, in in the season at least come, coming to the you know coming to the, the end of the season here so we're going to see how they how they play this here right? we're going to see a lot of of wing play off the start like any other match here but right away they're going to go straight to match loading and you know you can see that that they're going to go and take all the blocks away from from both both alliances right they're going to try to take as many blocks clear as many blocks out of the match as possible and you can see that they're able to hoard around like 30 blocks per per robot i think i think that's what extra Pete told us, but yeah, some some incredible hoarding capabilities out of both of these bots here. You can see the map where the, the field is pretty much completely cleared at this point, and red is really struggling to keep up with with no blocks uh, that that's available. As blue, you know, collects a ton of blocks here and can pretty much always have blocks to to, to, to use, which is which is amazing. You can see blue going around collecting the red the red blocks that are kind of laying around here, making sure that red. Has nothing to, to, to use, which is pretty crazy, right? So, um, I think this might be something that that we might have to have to play against in in, in worlds, right? Uh, teams coming out of the, the United States and other countries may have to play against a hoarding meta that comes out of the comes out of China. I, I'm I'm not too sure. I, I doubt it, but but it looks pretty crazy, right? They, they just they just hit a huge huge score here. I think this is way way too early. I think they should have been playing wings, but they're gonna stay here and also another thing is the robot's so heavy where where nothing can really be done to get them out of the way here they have so many blocks and the robot's super super heavy um so they can just kind of kind of sit there and and stay put right and and they can kind of just shove you out of the way and you really can't can't push them out of the way super easily here and you know they're gonna they're gonna be able to regain control on that on that on that goal somehow which is pretty crazy right so one thing is definitely be preparing how to play these these type of matches here against against two horde bots because if that happens then it's that's really really gonna be rough right because these are these are good drivers still and and they're able to to use these bots to to its really big advantage all right let's go to the the second match i think the biggest thing with the with the horde bots are are that there has to be two of them right if there's not two of them then then it's not really gonna work right um and that's pretty easy to understand because only one of them is not going to be nearly as much um as much like value brought in as two of them because having one of them there's still going to be quite a lot of of blocks that the opponents can play with but you're kind of just making that you making your robot not perform as well right which is a which is a huge um downside but if there's two of them then if you can effectively spend the first minute of the match just clearing out all the blocks then then your opponent will have nothing to play with and then and at that point they're they're at your mercy right and this is kind of what's happening here right they're, they're going for early ma early match loads to clear their own all their own match loads and and honestly I'm, I'm not too sure if that's smart because that that introduces more blocks into the match right i feel like what might be smart is um is just clearing out all the blocks right away like trying to clear all the blocks right, right away but i mean i guess this is fair that they, they, they do their early match load just to get get more of their own color blocks so I don't I mean there's not not much wrong with that. However, like if you want to play this strategy, you really have to be quick with clearing out those blocks. And as you can see here, they they're they're pretty fast at clearing out those blocks. And red has basically like four blocks on the field that they can really use, which which means that you know their their efficiency with scoring is so much lower than blues because blue doesn't even need to they don't even need to um like blue doesn't even have to have to like they don't even have to 
have to go get blocks, right? Because they have all the blocks in the robot already, right? And they're always going to have them in the robot because they have so much, such a big capacity for blocks there. And you see that, that, that they have, they still have the wings and stuff to play with, and they're able to, you know, do really well with those wings, playing a really good, um, you know, wing defense up here with the with that top goal here. As I said that, but you know, they were able to clear out the whole goal, even uh, even under Red's pressure there, and you know. Uh, remain in a stalemate on that top goal and as there and as 10 seconds approaches both of these blue robots line up and, and it's really a rough situation for red because they they can't they can't really push both of them off right they have to pick one to focus on and and, and if they try to put both robots on right if they try to go ahead and and put both robots like on like a one-on-one -on, -one on each side then this is just doomed right because they can't like how are they supposed to de-score everything that's in the goal they can't so the strategy is uh, is pretty good, actually, if played right. And you can see here that going for a, for a last second score is crazy because with because they just this is the finals, by the way. So these and this is the red lines is the higher seed. So um, the red lines here is is theoretically better, um, you know, like single like as as one robot, but because they were ranked higher in qualifications, right? But but blue here, their teamwork is going to prevail and. And these four bots are, are going to kind of go crazy.